Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sakar Reviews. Last time I did the Avo Synchro, so I figured this time I'll do the Avo Domain. Now, you might say, hey, it's Domain, or some, I've actually heard this said, Avo Domini, even though it's coming from the term uh, Anno Domini. Yeah. Uh, which means AD, you know, after uh, the year of our Lord. Uh, somehow, some people actually get the domain to be Domini. I don't know how. But anyways, uh, this is the Avo Domain. Domain is a French word, and it essentially means estate. So this would be, I guess you could say, the estate cigar. Uh, it is a dark sun-grown Connecticut wrapper from Ecuador um, and uh, Dominican long filler and Dominican binder and this has received a 91 rating from Cigar Aficionado slightly squishy which is kind of surprising for an alo but not a big deal uh, it can change turn around only a slight hay smell from the wrapper and a stronger hay smell from the uh, foot. So, um, I used a perfect cutter on it today. No draw issue. This is the one avo that I had had experience with until Johnny Stick sent me uh, essentially a four pack of uh, taster pack of these. And, um, the one I had before, I was not all too pleased with. Uh, it burnt very, very quickly. I think I smoked it in about half an hour. It was a larger ring gauge. And um, it, I just didn't enjoy it. And I don't know if the reason was it came from Thompson. I don't know if there was something actually wrong with the cigar or something. Maybe it was just me. Uh, well, anyways, um, I will go ahead and fire this up. Also, the last one of these, uh, uh, that sampler hack I got from Thompson, my friend didn't know about, and I was kind of worried they might show up at any time, so I was kind of puffing by the back door, and I figured they'd complain if they saw I was smoking an avo, and they hadn't, and... So, whenever you're constantly watching your back, that kind of can ruin things for you, too. So, I'm glad I get another shot at trying this. Kind of a Rice crispy and Charcoal flavor. More the Rice Krispies, but I can kind of taste something charcoalish in the background. Interesting how so many cigars taste like breakfast cereal. But the reason for that is that they absorb a lot of the, fer uh, I, won't, I don't want to say fertilizer, but cow pies are essentially used as a good fertilizer to make soil rich. It's why a lot of farms smell like a barnyard whether they have horses and cows or not. Um, and that gets somewhat into the plants and a lot of times you'll always hear reviewers say, you know, things like it tastes, uh, tastes like oats, it tastes like hay, it tastes like barley. I smell oats and hay and barley on it. Uh, they're very, very common flavors to this. But uh, what is cereal made out of? Oats, hay, <laughs> well, not really hay, but um, oats and wheat and essentially grains. Um, and, you know, the tobacco plant itself is a plant very much like grains are. So, there's a good reason why so many cigars have a breakfasty flavor to them. I'm having great draw off this.
Might be a slight hint of Baker's Cocoa, you know, well, Baker's Chocolate. Uh, very tasty in a much different way than the other Avos that I've had. And although the flavors are there, and a person who looks for flavors to jump in your face will say, wow, there's flavors here I haven't tasted. There's also some very subtle flavors, uh, some very light nuances of other flavors lingering that kind of have a question in your head is, what is that? Well, anyways, I will get to you at the halfway point of this cigar, and uh, I will let you know how this is progressing. The Avo Doman, and that's only because the word is actually French, so uh, the E at the end is not pronounced, uh, um, and uh, the A-I is not pronounced like Maine, so even though it translates into English as Domain, um, because it's got the E on the end of it, it's French. Uh, in English, we don't use the uh, E. So, it changes the pronunciation from Domain to Domain, you know, etc. Anyways, halfway point. Hello, and welcome back to the halfway point of this Avovisian Domain. Yeah. Not full when you're not in the wake and foreign language just doesn't want to come. This really brings back some memories. It has a unique flavor to it that it was so unique that after a few puffs I'm just sitting there actually reminiscing about that night that I had this about two and a half years ago. Two and a half years and the flavor has remained consistent. There's a little caramel flavor, some honey, some oats, but the way that these are blended, even though the flavors are semi-common, it has its own unique, distinct personality that I'm absolutely loving. And I remember the first time I had this, I did not like those flavors. I, I sat there like, hmm, this is, this is weird. Um, I, I remember not liking it, honestly, but right now I'm loving it. There's also been a change though. When I first had this, uh, it was almost, as I said, about two and a half years ago. And it was shortly after I'd quit smoking cigarettes. And I only smoked some cigars to kind of get away from cigarettes. But I hadn't, you know, really gotten into cigars. It was just kind of a passing phase. I figured I'd probably quit them and uh, move on. Um, so when I gave this a try, it's not like I was planning to really enjoy cigars like I do now. So I, it was like a conversation I was having yesterday. Uh... It's a difference between enjoying a cigar now and then and being a connoisseur of cigars. You can enjoy cigars and not be a connoisseur. Well, maybe I'm now more on the connoisseur side, so I appreciate these things a little more. Uh, whereas enjoying them, you just puff them. It doesn't matter what they taste like, really, as long as it doesn't make you vomit. And, well... You don't really need a reviewer if that's the way you're going to smoke. Um, I mean, maybe it might be nice to know whether this is that or this is, you know. Maybe you don't like sweet at all. Maybe you don't like full-bodied. And There's so many out there It says mild and it's not mild. It's full, so. I wish I could give you the other flavors that are going on in here. It just is truly a unique cigar that... In some ways, I almost have to recommend it just because 
it is unique enough in flavor that I cannot necessarily give you the idea of this cigar in words. It's like, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. This cigar, trying it, is worth a thousand reviews because I, I can't do it justice. It has that unique of a flavor, yet it's not gross at all. In fact, it's very pleasing. So, um, anyways, I'm going to get to the final third of this and let you know how this has progressed, and I'll see you shortly. Hello, and welcome to the final third of this Ava Uvizian um, uh, Doman. I almost forgot what I'm smoking. Now, I got one major thing to say here. This is an odd cigar. See, when I focus on the flavors and try to pick them up, I don't get the tastes that I'm typically getting. If I just forget about it and puff on it, all of a sudden those flavors come out. But I start looking for them, and they're not there. It, it's like phantom flavor. So, in some ways, this cigar would be better for somebody who really just wants to smoke a cigar and could care less about the flavor, because the flavors are incredible, and they're going to experience a great deal. But when you start looking for them, it seems they want to be elusive, and they just don't want to be there, and then you don't taste them, and it's odd. I, I've never had that with a cigar, but the flavors in this are incredible i'm i mean seriously uh, avo has it, it, every cigar i've had from avo recently has been awesome uh i'm quickly becoming a very big fan of avo um and i'd always wanted to try them so they've lived up to the expectations too so thank you johnny sticks for giving me an opportunity to try these i know i still got the xo left to try uh, I'm really looking forward to that now because I've tried the uh, Doman, I've tried the uh, Mystery Note, I've tried the Classic, um, I've tried the uh, Synchro Nicaragua, all fabulous cigars, uh, each in their own way too. It's, it's not like any of them taste like each other. And yet each one of them has flavors that taste like nothing else. Uh, they're all unique and so do I recommend this <laughs> no uh, give them all to me uh, you don't want them okay <laughs> any of them just give them to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no I'm kidding um, I definitely recommend these uh, I was using sarcasm there um, Definitely, uh, I could buy boxes of these. Unfortunately, I can't afford boxes of these. But uh, if I could, I would have boxes of these. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll hit the lottery one of these days. However, I think you got to buy a ticket to win, and I don't want to waste my money on a ticket that I'm not going to win on. It does seem that it wants to go out here in the final third, and I've got that much left, so this is too long for it to go out yet. But, um, anyways, with all that said, please add and subscribe. Leave questions, comments, feedback, and suggestions. If you've smoked this and you agree or disagree with my uh, review, go ahead and leave your opinions in the comments down below. And uh, just keep it nice is all I ask, and enjoy every puff.